episode three today for Between the Lines, and we're going to be heading to hike Mount Finlayson, which is a mountain just outside of Victoria and part of Goldstream Park. Look out of the window with all my heart. So here we are at the start of the hike up Mount Finlayson. You can actually start here at Goldstream and then you can hike all the way up to the top and then you can hike down over a bare mountain. So I think that, that would be a fun challenge to try some time. We discovered this tree and we all tried to hug it all around the whole family with arms it's expanded seven, and we couldn't years. get around it. We were short by about two feet. So Soren, how, uh, what do you think the circumference is on this tree? Seven meters. And how did you figure that out? Well, because my dad's almost two meters tall. You and me are almost a, a meter and a half. And Annie's half a meter, then we had... No, no Annie's half, half a meter. A meter. <laughs> <laughs> a meter and a bit. And then there was two feet extra, so... So all together we figure it has at least about a seven foot... No, seven meter. Seven meter, I should oh, say. Oh. Seven meter circumference. That's it is 21 feet. How old do you think this tree is? Uh, I'd say probably 200 years old. I'd say more. It's pretty tall as well. I don't know. Well, uh, that tree has seen a lot of days. I wonder how many creatures have called it home. I found a bigger tree. We think we have competition for the other tree. Yeah. It's crazy. That one is huge. Dad, can you come down here? I want to measure how much space there is extra. Okay. Yeah, I'll come down here. Compared to the last one. Okay, well, I'll just film so you can show the measuring system so you'll just not be able to use my height. No, we need your height, Mom. <laughs> Okay, everyone in positions. Um, where, where do I go? Oh, okay. All okay. right, Des, uh, are we at our full extent? Desmond, I'm gonna come around and sort of show where- No, we're not quite at our full extent. Oh, I think we're pretty close, yeah. That's our full extent. Okay, here's my spot. I'm gonna fill in here. Oh, I'm okay, so I filled into my position there a minute ago, and what did we find out, Soren? That it has another meter and a half. So I'm guessing that tree was about either eight and a half, nine meters long. Why? Why? Around. Circumference. Around. Yeah. That's almost 30 feet. So we're going to do a little research when we get home and see what that indicates for age. But we think it means it's a pretty old tree. Yeah, That's I'll, a redwood I'll, cedar, I'll, I'll, I think. I think all these are like oh. Redwood cedar. Cedar, yeah. They're huge. Dad and I, well, you guys have been there too. We've driven through a tree before down in was Long, it California. Cedar? Yeah. It was a cedar, redwood cedar forest. Is it gone? Huh. I think something happened. I'm not talking to you, but I think That's something happened to it. Mm. We're at the base of the mountain here, the hiking part. You can see behind us the first challenge, which is a big set of stairs. And so while we're doing our hike today, we're going to have a you wouldn't challenge. It's a you won't. You won't challenge. And we'll explain how that works when we start. in a few minutes. So we finished hiking up all the stairs. I forgot to count and that was really sad. So, <laughs> there were a lot though, I'm breathless. <laughs> I think we've covered about 10 meters of the 419 meters <laughs> so, of height that we have to climb. And a little bit more about the challenge. So, as you guys probably know, you want to challenge somebody gives some, like, says something, like for example, I said to mom, you won't go run up that hill and run back down here five times. And if she does that, she'll get a Timbit. Timbit. We oh, have a box of mm. 50 Timbits. Mm. And so, if you complete the challenge, you state how many Timbits the challenge is worth. Yeah, and then okay. we can... One challenge is worth one Timbit. And then you can accept as many as you want, but once you deny a challenge... You get no more and you can't give anybody any more challenges. You're out of the game, essentially. Oh. Okay, so strategize, Napoleon. <laughs> how are you going to get out of this with the most donuts Timbits. and the most laughs? That's most really Timbits. what it is about, sorry, the most Timbits. Yes. Announcement. Announcement. I think we, we saw we have the first challenge here. Yeah, my challenge is to mom and she has to run up and down the staircase six times. Up, down equals two. So each, if you run down and then back up, that's two. And if you, uh, so she needs to do it six times. So that's bottom to top and she'll end up at the top in the end. So she'll oh. hit the top three times and the bottom three times. Okay. Right, what do I get? Uh, Timbits. Two Timbits. One two Timbits. Timbits. Two Timbits. Two Timbits. Yeah. Mama, do you, do you accept the challenge? I accept the challenge. I think I'm halfway already. No, no, no. It'll fall to the top. <laughs> okay. 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 Nice! 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have challenge number two presented to Annika. A mom challenged Annika by saying, you won't walk across that log and not fall off more than once. Do you accept the challenge? Yeah. Ready, set, go. Uh-oh. <laughs> you won't go stand on top of that rock and do a nice slow dance. A dance? Just, just like a little... Kind of sort of sensual? A yeah. little bit of sensual dancing? Just like feel little... the environment around you. <laughs> <laughs> like inspired by the mist and trees and the greenery. Okay. Um, first I have to get on this thing so it looks a little wet and slippery but I think I can do it. He's up. I'm up and, and just so the audience knows, this man is six foot five, <laughs> so it's often pretty hard for him to balance. My balance is not the best, so. <laughs> but he's game for a challenge. Okay, okay now you got to take in the environment, sort of channel that. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna bring it out in a dance. Okay, so I have a, a challenge for Sorn, aka our oh. Billy Goat of the family here. Uh, um, so Sorn, the, the challenge is like you can see the path is like uh, like the most like um, not not too challenging up there. So but the, there's a shortcut up here. So my challenge for you is take the shortcut and meet us up there, and you have to pass up there in one minute. Okay. One minute to get up there to the path up there. And once he gets up the there, challenge? he has yes. <laughs> no, once he gets up there, he has to keep dancing until we arrive. Okay, son. Go. Is it, is it steep up there, son? How's it going? Go, son, go. Oh, he's passed the tree up there. 38 seconds, son. You have 45 seconds. You're there, 50 seconds you made it. So Zorn finished the challenge, and now he's dancing. It's his victory dance. He just came up that. Good job. So this next challenge that I've made up is that they have to volunteer for who wants to be the challenge. And then I'll give the challenge to them, but the, the challenge is not specifically made for any of them. Interesting. And we don't know what the challenge is yeah. until after they accepted to volunteer. Uh, so, that's a twist. Any volunteers? Uh, Annie's already said no. Uh, so. Okay, Dad. dad All right, please. Dad. So the challenge is to say, uh, I am the king of this jungle. I own the mountain. And you have to scream that at the top of your lungs while beating your chest. Okay, I'm ready for this challenge, I think. I am the king of this mountain. Watch me, hear me roar! <laughs> We're reaching the point on the trail where it starts to get a bit gnarly. You kind of go down a bank, over a stream, and everyone's finding their own pathway down. And then after that, you're basically going straight up for a little while. And you're using the tree roots, really, as sort of your stairs and your security, because it can get kind of slippery. So this is probably the most dicey part. Well, not the most dicey, but when the diciness can really pick up. All right, so I am a bridge troll. You must answer my riddle to pass. Everyone who whispers in my ear correctly gets a donut and gets to pass. And everybody that doesn't uh, has to stay here and answer, answer the next riddle. Okay, right. what's so riddle the, one? The riddle is, this is for all of you. You whisper in my ear and if you get it right, you can pass. So I have keys for the locked out door. You can enter, but you have uh, you cannot come in. And I have room. I have space, but I have no room. What am I? That's good enough. 
You may pass. I think I know, so I'm going to pass the camera to Dad. Okay, Dad, Dad has no idea. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, dad, the dad doesn't know, so I think he'll leave a second separate riddle. <laughs> I guess there was already some in the pool in the first place. No. Well, that would work. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> this is mom's last riddle, and if you do not answer this correctly, you cannot oh, use the bridge to pass. Answer. It was because 64 heads came up. 64 heads? Oh. All right. mom's okay. Not so I can pass now? No, if you do not answer mom's correctly? riddle, you can't yeah, use I the I answered correctly, yeah. Oh, you answered it correctly? Well, it was, yeah, I think so. Just because I didn't have the same answer as Andy, my, my answer worked. <laughs> Oh, that, that was say, close. You were going to say if you, didn't, if you didn't get it, you have to cross but without using the bridge. So that we figured there was a pathway over the top. Oh my, I think my feet would have gotten wet. You know how, how good my balance is. This next challenge is an artistic challenge and more than one person can compete, but everyone will get rewards. So who's our, our takers? I'm very artistic. All right, that's I'm not, all of them. I'm not very artistic, but I'll give it a shot. The thing is to make the best snowman possible out of the resources around here. It doesn't have to stand up, but it has to be laid on the ground. And then I will be. Stand up if you want it to. And then yes, and then the first place, first place gets three dim pits. Second place gets two. Gets dim pits. Yeah, three dim pits. No, the first person gets three dim bits. Second two, and and last one. Okay, we accept the challenge. So dad, I'm coming for interview. What do you think this show has to look like? No, but I'm still looking on. I'm trying to figure this might be a good base, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, it doesn't have to stand up pretty. Okay, well, I don't know. Keep looking. My mother's is the first So contestant. I decorated it up since you last saw, I added a little greenery to just kind of make it stand out. And then this is kind of like a hat on his head. So that's my beer bottle Santa. All right. I and also, I mean snowman. I also think that this might be a collectible because it's like a really old fat shorty bottle. Mm. Maybe you should take it home. Dad, let's see your snowman. Mm. Okay. So here's, here's dad's. So. As I explained before, I'm I'm quite artistic, so this is what's in <laughs> walk in the park for that. So anyway, <laughs> so so I I thought this one this this one mine he has a little hat on and his arms and that's his oh, nose yes. and a little there. And is that a smiley face? Yeah. Nice. And then now I need to interview Annie about yours. So smiley man. So there's those buttons and then there's a little scarf and a face, smiley face, and then there's two eyes. They just keep falling off, off, and then there's a little hat. Nice. I want to give an update on my bottle because right. of something inside of it. There's some creature yeah. that's set up a little nest, something. Can I, can I see you in there? Yeah. Do you see right, right there? Oh, yeah. So I don't think I should take it yeah. home. I'm going to kind of put it back, embed it back where I kind of found it. I think maybe it's been sitting there a it's really someone, long it's time. It's someone's home. Somebody's home. All right. So it was very difficult. They all were good in their own ways. Dad used a lot of different resources. Annika used uh, some of the same, but a lot of different resources. And mom tried to clean up the environment by using an old bottle she found and then thought of taking it home, but it turned out it was an ecosystem for a different type of animal. I think you guys all tie. And that therefore, since I'll bring everything down into the medium, so everybody gets two Timbits. Two Timbits, woo hoo! Nice challenge, I like that one, thank you. So it's been there's been so much rain lately so this is almost turning into a little river here. 
Okay, so hiding up in the real bed. Okay, so we, we've hiked for maybe an hour and a half now or something like that. And we're just getting to the last steep part here before in the forest, before it opens up. And uh, I think maybe we'll have to start. I up a little bit of trash I found. Oh, more trash. Yeah, but this time it's more recent. It was a Red Bull. Oh my. A Red Bull container. Right. That bugs me because I think we've got these beautiful nature places. Like who thinks, oh, I'm going to trash my can and just drop it here. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully. I got an old heel of a shoe. Oh yeah. Well we have to examine that one later, I forgot if what it was. But... You could show what we think. Oh yeah. So we weren't sure if it was like wood or plastic. Wood or plastic. It sounds like sounds like you think it's plastic, plastic and mom, mom thinks it's wood. I think it's the heel of an old boot. Because well. you can sort of see where the nails would have gone in to hold it on the boot. So maybe we'll that's wood. And I was saying Too that Goldstream is actually named Goldstream because at one point they thought there was gold here. So in fact, there were prospectors that tried to look for gold here, but mm -hmm. they didn't really ever find any. So there's a prospector's trail and there is a gold mine like tunnel on a different part of the park. Maybe we'll do that another time. And um, yeah, so I think that might be a remnant from some prospector who tried to hike through here. So I tell you, it really had a tiny heel, so maybe it was a female prospector. And that's like the beginning of a good story. <laughs> it sounds like it. Just starting to get out of the clouds here. It's a little bit cloudy, but I think we're just starting to clear them out. Clear up over them. Oh, you got it, Annie. Okay, so it looks like we're at the top of the Andes here. You can see the mist behind me and maybe you can make out a little bit the a housing development there. That's called Bear Mountain. They're kind of viewing right into Mount Finlayson and uh, it's pretty tricky climbing we're facing right now. So we just came up this patch here, which was kind of almost like going right up a rock face. You had to sort of find cre a crevice here and there and a foothold, but we're nearing, we're gaining elevation, we're getting close, we're almost there. All right, so Annie, what do you think of the hike so far? Or this last part of it, at least? That way, but do you think it's good that way, Dad? Well, this way's going to be easier, Annie. That, that way you have a slippery rock. This way you have grippy grass. So t I think I'd rather choose grippy grass. Grippy grass? Not that bad. Is this grippy grass on the way out? Okay. Dad, you go first. Oh, All right, I think we're we getting close to the top here. Mm -hmm. And you can see the... You see the golf course here from Bear Mountain in the background here? That's sure it's a beautiful view from up here. Yeah. How is this? Is it pretty slippery? This is a tricky part here. Yeah. I'm in a real little crevasse. Yeah, it's definitely wet. <laughs> but there's a lot of little footholds. Yeah. But you just gotta take your time. Exactly. Yeah, it's very wet. Okay, so the latest challenge I've just presented to the kids was they had to pretend to be bunny rabbits for the next about 50 meters of the trail up that tree over there. <laughs> oh and they have to do like hops and hold their ears like this. Mm -hmm. And then investigate and sniff the ground at least a couple of times along the way like they found something really interesting. And I challenged her back to join us. Okay, nice job. All right, Mom, I'm making you ridiculous now. <laughs> Son's gonna make Mama ridiculous. <laughs> I was, I did the ridiculous with you. <laughs> so we finally made it to the top of the mountain. That was quite a hike. And then we're uh, just having a little snack here. 
And then I heard it seemed like there was some challenge that was introduced there. Yeah. Oh. So both of these children are a little bit closed minded when it comes to food. And I've been trying to get them to eat pickles, but they mm -hmm. won't really eat pickles. And mm. I, I enjoy pickles when I'm eating crackers and cheese. So my <laughs> challenge to them is the pickle challenge. They have to each eat a whole pickle. Okay. How, how, many, how many pickles are left? Because I. There's, there's three, but there's one for each of them. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking I could maybe join the challenge. You want to know? I have one more pickle, but it's uh, bigger than the other pickles. Oh, oh my! No. <laughs> How about half of that one? I'll join okay, it for half I'll of that one. I'll split this one with you. Because I'm not a huge pickle oh, person. Oh, he's already eating his pickle. You can't, you can't combine it with crackers. Never said we could. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh. so here's the pickle challenge. Everyone eat your pickles. Ew. Mmm. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Mmm. 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 Now throw a little meat in with it. Mm. 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 And a cracker. Mm. 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 That is um different. Mm. <laughs> Not that bad. Mm -hmm. Good, right? I've mm. known before. A little salty. Uh, if only we had sliced crunchy? cheddar cheese, that would make it better. Mm -hmm. You did it, Annie. Almost there. Isn't it kind of like it's like. <laughs> it bursts and crunches and lets out liquid yeah. and it's also um, good. I need to look up. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay, work, so Annie. Get two Timbits. Wait, Annie, you get a Timbit. Okay, fine, three. Mm -hmm. Annie, what, 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 what would you say were the takeaways from that pickle challenge? Still not eating pickles to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're finally at the finale, I believe, of the challenges because we're at the top of the peaks more or less here the top of Yelps. The, where are we at the point the pointiest point of the pointiest Whoa. Of the point. <laughs> that's a lot of point and anyway. so we're each we're each going to do one last challenge here and then i think on the way down we're going to just focus on not falling down the mountain so <laughs> my challenge that was presented to me from soren was is that she has to sing that ah uh, this song i don't know this, i will always love you yeah i will always love you Annie's challenge is to scream her favorite, uh, my favorite color is blank, or whatever color, and my favorite food is, and my challenge. And I um, challenge Soren to sing, I'm a Barbie girl at the top of his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> and we've chosen to face this way because we actually aren't alone, there are people around, so yeah. it is more embarrassing than one would think. But we also don't want to disturb everybody's moment, I mean we've all hiked up this mountain, it's been a lot of yeah. work, and we don't want to take up a lot of make a lot of noise yeah, so we're gonna make some noise and we're gonna face it this way <laughs> and then we're gonna see you all at the bottom of the mountain. I'm gonna go yeah first. And, and, there, and there was some other people up here because we almost lost we almost lost, lost our timbit so <laughs> what, what? a dog came and was digging in there for some treats <laughs> yeah, so, I had, to, it, so I had to save it <laughs> you have to wrestle it away it was a bit it was a bit gruesome but. <laughs> 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 all right okay. joking she's um, joking I'll start. it was this way this way or like that okay. way yeah it's okay. screen my favorite color is blue, and I love donuts! <laughs> <laughs> nice, now mom. Okay, I'm next, okay. <laughs> and I will always love you. will always love you. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay, now we all take a bow for all the challenges. Ready? One, two, three. Nice one, crew. <laughs> nice one. I, I would clap, but I have a timpan in my hand, so I can't run once. It's not really gonna work. <laughs> so we're here at the top, at the mountain, and I'm sort of excited to be here, but I'm also a little bit sad because I was really looking forward to flying the drone today and. Uh, it's a little overcast and I don't really think we will get any good footage so I think that would have to wait to another time. And Annie wanted us to stop at a lower plateau because she said there's no point you can't see anything and maybe she was right but I still think there's something in being able to say you went to the very top. Don't you yeah. think Annika? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I would qualify that as a top though. All right and what 
we're not quite done because we got to go down the mountain yet. But on the climb up, what were your two highlight or Annie's highlight and Soren's highlight? Annie first. Crossing what? the river. Crossing the river in the riddle game that Soren created. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Yeah. And Soren, what was your highlight? Um, probably being at the top and trying to forget about go having to go back down. Okay. Well, we'll we'll report from the bottom. Hopefully, none of us fall down the mountain. Nice, nice. Big Annie. So we made it back down from the from the steepest part, and now we're back down into the forest and we just having named it the gnarliest. The gnarliest part. Mm -hmm. So does anybody have any takeaways from the gnarliest part? What are, what are your thoughts, Annie? No, I didn't slip, so I'm quite, yeah. quite proud of myself. Mm -hmm, Staying yeah. low. Staying low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The gloves on, even if they were wet, was helpful because it's <laughs> yeah. a bit um, hard on the hands with all the rocks you have to hold on to. Um, yeah, it was definitely wet, yeah. And I, I, I felt for one that, you know, I know you guys always say I don't have too good balance, but actually I, fi I think maybe I had an advantage because I had my gadget, ha gadget arms. Mm -hmm. So that has like gadget, go, go gadget arms and they were able to reach some good place to like, yeah, hold on to. You could go across, you could span. Yeah. You could span. <laughs> so, we so should have, we should have used you as a bridge dad. Like, you could go yeah. down. <laughs> I had one part where I thought, cause you kind of had to choose your own adventure. Like mm -hmm. there were, there was a suggested path, but there are a few options, and sometimes the other options might be better because the suggested path was so slick from everyone using it. Mm -hmm. But I had one where I kind of came down, and I'm like, mm, I don't think this is going to end well, and I had to back it up a little oh, bit. Yeah. <laughs> and it was actually quite busy. I mean, there was quite a number of people mm -hmm. passing us. It was almost like we were like in a in a traffic jam a few points there because it was so narrow, so it was like you have to wait for someone to pass because yeah. there was only room for one person, really. Mm -hmm. And are you glad in the end that we went to the peak, even though the view, you're right, was better from the lower part? I guess. Because you can say I did it. Went to the very, very tippity most top part. Yeah. Well, on the way back, it was actually cleared up, so I, it was almost like I could have flown the drone there, but we were out of time, and that wasn't really, it wouldn't have been the same, so. You could fly the drone from here. It could get back <laughs> to the car before us, get the car started. Uh, <laughs> um, it might be a bit too much to uh, I don't know. I think that, no. Uh, Maybe, maybe some other time. But, uh, <laughs> maybe after a few more experiences. Yeah. <laughs>